Hey guys, you're watching Simon and My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Chunk Error, apparently, of Let's Build Springfield. Load in, little chunk. Ah, screw it, we'll ignore it. We're back over at the apartment area of Springfield today. We're, we're leaving the squid port for a little bit and, and working over here. I really fancy doing a larger building. Probably going to be the biggest building in the area, I think. It's the Spinner Spinner. Spinster, sorry, Spinster City Apartments, where I think Patty and Selma live, which is obviously Marge's uh, older sisters. I think they're older sisters, aren't they? Looks a very interesting building. We've got some really good matching colours. We've got the white stained clay that we're using for that sort of creamy colour, and then we're using blue stay light blue stained clay for the sort of purple, and it looks really good. It's it's like the perfect shade, I think, for it. Let's move this back a little bit though. About to there. How much room is that to there? No, let's move it over a little bit. To like that. Okay, so like whenever we do a building here in Springfield, it always takes us just a couple of minutes to get a layout, a plan of how we want it to go. So we've got a purple block on the side. And we've got this white or creamy block along the bottom as if it was a foundation. We're going to use packed ice for the windows here just because it makes the most sense. Um, I, I really like using the packed ice on the, on the houses at the moment. It, it hides the interior. And how high do we want this to go? We need this to be relatively high. I think maybe one more like that. They're very tall windows, aren't they? Okay, and then what we do is we put another set of windows in, or it's another one window. These windows are two blocks wide. And then we're going to divide the windows up using these little micro blocks here. These aren't the smallest ones. These are called posts. Not, I can't remember what the other, what the thinner ones are called. I can't remember now. Oh, these ones here. Strips. They're, po they're posts, not strips. <laughs> okay, remember that. All right, and then we're going to have another purple row up the other side of the window. And then we're going to have another packed ice. I think we're going to do two packed ice. I'm not sure how wide this building's going to be yet. We actually need to do the second floor before we do the bottom floor. It's a very strange way of building. But otherwise, we might build it too short or too long. It's going to be easier if we do this lane first. So, start up here now. We've got the height. We're going to do one row of cream. But on this one... Oh, I need to cut down a... Larger one, bigger than the post. These are called pillars to go in here because we need to sort of wrap around the outside with these to make it sort of pop out by half a block. Because as you, as you can see on the picture, it, it comes out wider than this purple post. Plus it gives a little bit of depth to the building as well. I really like how, how that's going to look. Okay, now we can put the purple up the side. And I think what we're going to do is have these along here because this is then going to set back the cream block half a block away from the purple okay so we get that sort of drop back which i think you can see on the picture as well and then we need this to come up two blocks so up to this height and then we have the packed ice behind here for the next row of windows and i think we're going to have to do two two by two windows and again put in these little blocks to split them up that one goes there these come up to the top. And I think that's how we're going to do it. Now, we need to now replicate this four times along there. And once we've got this replicated four times, we can then concentrate on doing the bot the ground floor again to match up. So we're going to come uh, probably with probably what a full block first, don't we? Uh, that one. Okay. We don't need these slopes for quite a while yet. Let's just bring this out here. And then we want one, two, three, four. Four blocks wide, two blocks high. I'm doing my best to let you guys know how many blocks I'm placing. You guys get really annoyed when I don't tell you. Trouble is, I've said it before, I don't know how many blocks I'm placing. That's the trouble. If I knew, I'd be able to tell you a lot easier. But because I don't know, it makes things very, very difficult. Okay, that makes the halfway point. Okay, because obviously that's the, that's the halfway point right here. Which means if we'd done the bottom floor, the second story would have been a lot more tricky. This is going to be a big building. These are big, big, big apartments. Okay, so then we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have the ice behind here. We put the little cover on them to split them up into two windows. And then we put the purple back in. 
Now, this should be, this is the third set, isn't it? One, two, three. So, yeah, we need one more. Like this. One, two, three, four. Now, there is going to be some cutaways in this episode. Because, obviously, each story is exactly the same. And I'm sure, I'm sure, no matter how much you love me and you love hearing my voice, you don't want me to... To, you don't want to see me do the same thing in a total of five times because the other building has two stories of the same as well. I mean, only... S <laughs> There's nobody that can take that much of me, that's for sure. Okay, and then we need to put the half slab around the side as well. But let's work out how this bottom story is going to go because this has actually ended up being a lot wider than I initially thought. Okay, so there's the bottom floor. We have this run across here. We need the packed ice to go in at least here we might have to end up making uh these windows wider in fact we we're gonna have to this is the middle point and if we wanted a four wide window that puts us there and there i think what we're gonna do is actually take this one out put in maybe a half block like that this brings the wall out by one this is now going to be one longer at least than the other side we then have the purple in yeah this is going to this is going to work out perfectly now and then we have the ice uh ooh. hmm wait a minute that's there. That's that's one block wider than that. Oh, it's because this is a th only a thin one. This needs to be a, a thick purple. I thought there must have been a problem. The, the maths just wasn't adding up. All right. And then, yeah, we're going to have to do this one block wide, which I think is fair because it looks a little bit smaller on the picture than those windows. And then we have the white clay up the edge. Okay. Now we have the width of the building. Let's think about, well... The, uh, the 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 depth of the building that's the word depth uh, this is oh no it's not gonna it's not gonna bug out oh excellent I thought because of the packed ice being there it's gonna throw everything off it's not though so we know that this needs to be three windows wide well that's easy enough for us to do there's one window uh, we need it four blocks yeah that is four blocks with the break in it and then a uh, not on is it on this level yeah that is yeah we need uh, a, a gap of two like this then our second one i'm just going to use the pack ice now like so with the break in it now i can save a little bit of time for myself when it comes to doing the next one uh, the next apartment which is a smaller one but i should be able to copy and paste and it'll take all the full blocks over all the pack ice all the purple and all the white but it won't take these micro blocks that we're going to put around the outside. So I'm going to have to do those by hand, unfortunately, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, if you know a little bit about Minecraft or about how mods work, it's because micro blocks don't have their own metadata, uh, which means they can't be copied and pasted. They obviously wasn't designed to work with micro blocks in the first place. Okay, so there's the width of the building and we've got the length of the building, the height of the building. Uh, how are we going to split this up? I think I just want to have... Well, it's only going to work in Minecraft if we do it, like, with a full block between each level. That's the only way that it's actually going to work, isn't it? So that comes all the way across. That's a huge... Well, is it that big? I suppose it's not really that big. But then we've got another one as well. Okay, and then we'd have the same there above it and the same above that. I'm going to do that, and I shall be back. It's the same around all sides now, uh, so we're not really missing much. Ooh, this has... Wait a minute. How come this has two blocks and this has one block? It makes no sense. Something isn't right. Ah. Duh. That one. And that one. How did I not see that? Okay. But that then only makes that too wide. Um, ooh. We're coming up with problems here. Uh, I'm gonna have to do it back at the old uh, the old way again. In fact, I don't think it made a difference, did it? If we put these 
back here. Yeah, these are the right ones. There. Yeah, well, that well, <laughs> if anything, it just works out a little bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, okay, I'm cool with that. Uh, I should be back. I should do this and I should be back. Sh whoops. <laughs> Shkablinky. Copy. And paste. This won't do it all, but it's going to save a lot of time. And shablinky. And paste. Okay, three stories. Wonderful. Just got to fill it in now. Okay, so just filling in the last couple of like window breaks I don't know what you'd call them but bang we have a three-story bill oh, I forgot one side we <laughs> we have a three-story uh, building here now I can copy and paste this whole building to give us the second one unfortunately it just skips out all of the fiddly bits all the micro block bits but we'll do that shortly in fact I might do the roof first uh, that would save me a little bit more time as well wouldn't it okay that looks really really cool though the door Hmm, um, let's work out the door very quickly. I think it should be fairly simple. We're going to have to cut these down into uh, into these. And we're going to do the same with the glass. And I think we'll probably just go from there. So it'll be that one, that one, and that one. And we're going to use these little blocks basically as full blocks. We've done this before. So uh, they, they go anywhere on all like eight points of where a block could be. So it's really, really handy for that. It's a big door. Like, this is a huge door. It's a very strangely sized building, this one. I know a lot of the Simpsons buildings wouldn't work in real life. You know, the Aztec theater and, and everything like that just literally wouldn't work. It's not big enough for to be a cinema. Uh, but this one is very, very strange. If you look at the size of the door, even on the picture, not on my Minecraft one, but on the picture itself, the the door... It's so ridiculously tall for how wide the building is meant to be. Uh, it's it's very, very strange. And then what makes it even stranger is the sign out the front that says Spencer City Apartments. Imagine how big that is. I mean, that goes up to the second story, which means the sign would be up to here. Bigger than most buildings on the entire world. It just doesn't make sense. So the sign is going to be missed. I'm not going to be building the side. I think it's going to look very weird. It's not going to suit the place. Uh, it's just going to be a bit overpowering. Okay, let's put some door handles nice and low down. We'll put the cover on it momentarily. But that looks pretty cool. I really like the, the different colors that we've got in here. Now, we want a purple around the top. Nice and simple. And then I think we are actually, because of the size of the building here, we're able to not cheat, but make things easier on ourselves by making the roof full blocks instead of the half slabs. Sometimes the half slabs are necessary, especially if it was on a smaller building. Uh, otherwise, it looks like the roof's like way too low down. Uh, like on there, you know how we've got that dropped down by half a block. On this one, we've got the it dropped down by a full block. On this one, we're going to be able to do a full block, which is going to save some time. And strangely enough, I think the only real option that we have is to use this white stained clay as the roof as well. Uh, ooh, what about sandstone? It's a little bit yellower, but I'm looking on the picture and it's got like little dots on the top. Yeah, I sort of like sandstone. 24, I'll remember that. 24. Okay, so if we go from there to there I yeah I I don't think we've used sandstone at all on this on this world set to 24 yeah I like that that it's very very close matching to the rest of the building so I'm very very pleased about that now I don't want to do the roof yet because I want to well I suppose it doesn't matter about doing the roof because we're not gonna be able to copy and paste all of it anyway are we let's copy and paste what we can so we want to go from this corner it's not going to copy those micro blocks anyway up to this level because it's sort of uh, two of these mini window stories high and then I'm going to go back over to this corner to copy it so I'm going to go to here copy 7,344 blocks that's not too bad and then let's give like four blocks in between so to about here they look to be both in line with each other on the picture and we're going to paste it there now as you can see, it's missing a lot of the micro blocks, but that's no problem. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, and then the, the roof is nice and easy. We know we need to go from there 
to there and do exactly what we just done that to that one set to 24 and there's the roof then we have the purple that goes around the top there and do that wonderful I suppose I'll be back again I, I'm gonna do the micro blocks on there and get that finished off then we'll work on the roof together and then we'll work on the front together with the leaves and then it'll be done can you believe it's so much work in so little time okay give me a few minutes <laughs> they look so cool I love it okay so the top should be fairly simple here I've got a few little blocks uh, that should help us out oh and the purple as well so we've got a door that needs to go in let's do the outside first maybe three blocks three blocks and then do the door like this maybe three blocks high as well like that and then have those and those uh, those and those and then I cut down a little purple one to go around the edge. I think I'm going to put them on this side because then we get the square. We don't get the corners missing then. Perfect. That looks good. That looks good. And then we're going to put a block over the top. And then I think we're going to go with the um with the uh the what are they called? Slopes. Slopes. That's the word. Slopes there and slopes there. Okay, color these in. It's been a long episode for me. Wow, I think we've been going for just over an hour. But that gives us the um the angle, that looks really good. That's really close to what we want, actually. Okay, and then we've got this aircon unit in here, which I'm going to do four blocks wide. And I think I'm also going to go over the top, do a little bit of detail by putting another half slab on top, which then allows us to put a full block there and then a slope like that. So it looks like it's sort of tunneling down and into it. That's pretty good. On this one... Looks like there's just one. I can't see anything like else hidden behind anywhere. So we're going to do this one slightly bigger. We're going to do a uh, five by three. Yeah, five by three. And I'm going to add a half slab on top just to give it a little bit more height. So we'll have these around there. Hello. That one and that one. Okay, so then there's the tops done as well. See, that adds so much more detail. I say this nearly every episode, but when you're doing a flat roof, always add, even if it's just a little block to the top, it just really brings it out, makes it really, really, really stand out. Okay, so now we want these little, oh, I don't know what you'd call them, like, uh, what would you call these? These are like uh, tents over the top. I think maybe that much, which is six blocks. And then we're going to add slopes and color those in yellow. And slopes on this side and do the same. Oops. Is it wide enough? Yeah. Ooh. Not yet. I don't think it is quite wide enough yet. Okay. And then I think we might have to remove that block because that's only a half slab anyway. So we might have to remove those four in order to allow us to put these upside down on here. And upside down on here. Color those all in yellow. These arches are always very, very difficult to do. All right. And then another uh, slope on this side. Oh, we have to take that one out. It doesn't bother me too much missing that. I don't think we get it's going to stand out all that much. Uh, why does it do that? Thank you. Uh, along here with yellow again. And yellow along here. And I think what we'll do now is get these smaller ones to try and get this uh, pattern that they have on the side. So I'm going to put one there, 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 and there. And then our post will then come down here. It's so high off the ground. A very strange building. It's a super strange building of how it, how it works and lays together. But that looks okay. In fact, these might need to be a little bit bigger. Can I make these bigger? If I go on this side? Yeah, I can. We can, we can like, uh, make them two times as large. And the same down this side. One, two, three, four, five. And then the bottom one. Oop, not there. Six, like that. Okay, daytime. Uh, oh, and then these go down this side. Uh, we have that one, that one, that one, that one. It just gives that little... Um, 
those little bits. Oh, we can't do it along the front. Oh, mind you, the front doesn't isn't sloped. The front is like straight across, isn't it? There and there. Yes, 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 yes. That one, that one, that one, that one. And we'll do two in the middle. Yeah, that looks okay. I can't get 509 written on it, but that'll 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 go well. Okay, and now we need to do the same on that side as well. Okay, uh, is this at the same height? Yeah, is it the same height? Uh, I'm gonna do. Should I do this off camera? Oh, I don't really want to do it off camera. Oh, I've forgotten to do the slabs around here as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera then because I've missed these going around the outside, all the way around the whole building. Okay, I'll do that. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about all the cuts in this episode, by the way. I didn't realize how many cuts this building would actually take. Uh, I know why there's so many cuts. It's because everything's all repeated. Every single part of it uh, is repeated over and over again, which makes the building look really cool. Are really realistic in a weird way because if you look at real skyscrapers and real apartments, they are all the same. Uh, but when it comes to recording, <laughs> when it comes to making a video, it's not quite as good for it. Um, it, it makes it very difficult, uh, makes it very boring. There's no other word for it. So obviously I have to cut them out, otherwise we'd be here for absolutely forever. Let's pick up these blocks. I don't like, don't like them ho hovering over. Okay, have I got any floating blocks over here? I do have a few. Any floating blocks on top? Yep. Wonderful. It was exactly the same as that one. That's pretty funny. Okay, so let's we've got our wand. We put down a quick path that goes on the inside only. It doesn't go onto the outside of the um of the poles here. So we're gonna set that to stone and do the same on this side. And then it's just some leaves, some strategically placed leaves around the place. So from there to there and do that. And then I've got the leaves all down. Let's, well, might as well start here, since we're here. Uh, we want to try and get this as close as possible. So I'm going to put a full block there, there. Well, this is actually bigger than I thought. There and there. And then we're going to go around. And like normal, how I normally do this, we just randomly place these micro ones, these smaller ones. Try not to think about it too much. Just sort of let it be. Let it do what it wants. Uh, and once you go around with these two wide ones, then spam around some one wide ones as well. And you'll get a really, hopefully, you'll get a really organic uh, shape for them. Shape for these bushes. Okay, that looks really cool. We've got another couple over here. So spam out some, some larger blocks first. Then go around with some smaller ones. Like so, and there, there. No, I don't want them sticking up too high. I don't. I don't want them to go too high. According to the picture, they they're quite low. So we'll have that one, and then that one, and then go around with some smaller ones as well. Like that. Wonderful. Okay, and then the one building over here. Take the crafting table away now. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. So we'll have this in. Perfect. I'm really, really pleased of how this building's turned out. I was a little bit nervous about building it because these apartments can either look really, really good or just terrible. And uh, so far, I think you guys are, are the best judges. But I think we've done okay with uh, all the apartments and stuff on here. So we'll have that one and that one. And then one last little bit. Oh, I flew up in the air. Like that. That'll do. And then have, oops, I'm going to bring this one out quite far like that. Have these ones around here. Those ones on there. Maybe a little bit like this. One there, one there. Then add a few around the place. Yeah, okay, I'm very, very pleased. Uh, that one there. How does that look when we back off? There's one piece of dirt. That's going to really annoy me. Let's get rid of that. Perfect. All right. <laughs> I love it. I think that's so cool. Now there is a decision to make. Do we put Patty and Selma characters down here? Or do we do them at their work, which is at the DMV? I think for now we'll probably put them down here. So let's get the wand for the NPCs. And we can go Patty. If I need to be able to find them. I don't know if I actually... Oops. I don't know if I actually named them correctly. 
That's the problem. I named a few of these wrong because when when you're naming them, like when you're naming the file, you can't see what they look like on a play. You can only see like the flattened out version. Patty and Selma. Patty. I don't. I don't think that is. Oh no, it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patty and Selma. Okay, Patty. Boop. And. Selma, I don't think are they fat? Selma, uh, are are Patty and Selma fat? I don't know if they are. I don't know if we need to affect them at all. Selma is there. That looks so cool though. Maybe they are a little bit fatter. Let's um, we can go into edit body. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. No, no, I don't think I like that. I think I'd rather. How do we do go to scale? Scale. Body. Uh, width. We'll just make them a little bit fatter. Maybe like 111. 111. How does that look on, on the character? Did I take effect? I don't think it took effect. Scale. Body. Oh, maybe it did. Maybe it doesn't seem to do as much as I thought. That's a little bit too wide. Okay, there is a little bit of fatness in there. Not too much, though, is there? Uh, surprised that there isn't as much. Scale, body, that. And drop that one down just a little bit. Yeah, okay. I think they are quite larger characters, aren't they? I'm not sure. I can't remember, to be honest. If they're not, we can always change them. That's going to do it for this episode, though. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye! Thank you